various figures lining the walls of the old watchtower. I, I will point those out. Those, especially the 20. Yeah, I'll point out there's not friendly looking people in the watchtower. You get to take notice of the stinky corpses lining the old watchtower. Oh. So you wanted to stealth those already? Just to get the drop on them. God. This time I think zombies are into sleep. Oh no. It's just like mine, the AOE spell. I think they're also immune to hideous laughter. Oh no. <laughs> Dangerous of them. They're immune to being charmed. Yeah. All right, Zorin wanted to stealth, so I'll click the button. Click the button. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. I will also so use my action. I will use my action to expand my body inspiration on myself to gain the effect of the justice card. That's a surprise tool for later. Mystery mask tool. All right. Okay. Thinking I'm stealthy, right. I want to head to the tent. Do you want company? Peek the tent. Alrighty. Double check, double check. There's a jump scare mechanic in there. Right. Save versus heart attack. So, as you look in, you do see a man, a wizard in a red robe. Uh -oh. He is sitting at a writing desk writing, uh, you know, scribbling away. Seems to be taking various notes. Uh, I will say, especially being up close and seeing this, you would see that uh, it's actually a very comfortable travel tent. Seems to have a cot chair, a writing desk, as well as various supplies, chest full of clothes. I uh, see, you know, leather bag and other things like that. And as you're peering in there, see his eye slowly turn towards you. What is this? What is the meaning of this? Who are you? That's my line. Who are you? As you do see, he stands up and grabs his staff, but then wasn't really expecting a response from a kobold? Racist. I... I'm the wizard Harmonkost. I've come to study this location. I've had some troubles. What brings you here? These, these. Studying you over cautiously. Like, waiting to see if there's others. At this point, you do see, for those who are outside, the zombies come marching out. Not threateningly, but just in force. What's up with the undead? Oh, they are protecting me in my travels. I'm here to study this location, find out whose tower this was. Unfortunately, I've had to make some my own bodyguard as the bugbears nearby have been incessantly scouting me. And, uh, I would imagine they're poised to strike any day now. It's very true. We've also been attacked by bugbears. Mm. 
Are you familiar with this location? No, we're just here to... Uh, we're being paid to deal with the undead, but it sounds like you need them. Uh, for my protection, unless you can either get rid of uh, whatever's festering in that cave, or bears, and... Oh. Hmm. He kind of looks at you and looks around. Doesn't see Kern, but everyone else, he's kind of like, you know, eyeballing a little. How, how fresh are these corpses? Oh, go ahead and roll me your medicine. Well, that's a history. You don't need a medicine. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Damn it. It is a slightly better modifier, much worse roll. I mean, they, they stink horribly, uh, especially human rot. Some of them are bloated, some of them are, you know, like parts of them have opened up and might be from weathering. It's hard to tell. It's kind of gross. You do see some that have goblin arrows in them, so might have come from that. Just trying to determine if he just went and killed a bunch of civilians to use as zombies. Do they mostly still have faces? For them, some yes, some no. It's a mixed bag. Because... So, if, if we take care of your problem, you'll, you'll get rid of these things? Oh, well, I mean, it would make my job a lot easier. I wouldn't have to worry about having my camp defended. Not like anyone else is going to come out here and help me. <clears throat> Can I? What does he That's mean by on. that? Can I roll insight? Will that work? I will say for Daemon, I won't let your history go to waste. You do recognize that he, uh, his robe is definitely a wizard of thing. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, I am a very traveled man. So I know what that is. Yes. Uh, uh, as Zorn turns around to be like, is that okay? I'll just sort of gesture, like, maybe step back a little. Um, what exactly is your job here? <sighs> well, I do originally need to find out the name of the wizard who built this tower. I do have a bit of history studying the tracks of one such capable arcanist. Though, if you make my job easier, I will be able to provide a handsome reward for doing so. Oh, was it Saranoth? Saranoth. That he will... They're a oh. necromancer, I think. I'll go to flip through a couple of his books. Oh, sad enough, was not responsible. He did not settle here. And you can tell okay. he's been following these tracks for probably for a while now, because the ledger that he opened up was of significant weight. Let's see. I could promise you a ring. Something I have found in my travels. Provided me a good piece of information that I was looking for, but... Might interest you? Zorn looks to Devon for guidance. What has Devon's expression been since he has been looking at the guy he knows as the Wizard of Day? Um, let's see. Probably horrified. <laughs> oh, this uh, is... yeah. Cool <laughs> as a cucumber. Poker face. Cool. Man. I have I have no reason to be worried. Yeah. Um. Well. It... It's sort of our job to clear out the bugbears, so... 
you scratch our back, we scratch yours. Seems fine by me. Excellent. Well, uh, I assume you are probably the one more capable, but impressive. We're all technically deputies. Excellent. No. Well, then I can assure you, my. Research is exclusive here, once I am finished with discovering the name of the one who built this watchtower. I'd be more than happy to shuffle on very quickly, no doubt. But if you get rid of those bugbears and whatever else they have there... The ring I spoke of... Obviously I won't produce it now, but... I am good for it. It's a... Old Nethril ring. Still with some power to it. Uh, uh, is a liar. Just for check for Netheril. Yes, you can. Insight Ooh. check for lying piece of shit. <laughs> I'd like to insight if he intends on giving this ring and not just killing yep. us when we come back. Yup. Same. All right. Lamau. Damn. So, uh, with that... He rolled a 30 deception, sorry. Uh, no. Uh, he does seem genuine. He does seem more vehemently invested with his research and obviously getting rid of the bugbears that are threatening his research would be probably immensely beneficial to what he's doing here and seems to just want to know the name and history of this location for some reason. Unsure of why, but... For his absolutely evil reasons, yeah. For the promise, though, of an old ancient magical ring to be passed off on? Seems promising. He seems honest that he would provide such a said ring. Alright, well... What direction is this bugbear hideout? Southeast. I wanted to see if I could handle the situation myself, but they keep guards posted up and you know, leaving my accompanying guard you know, unattended for too long would tend to have them wander, and I prefer to keep things in tight regiment for the time. Especially for those familiar with Arcane probably using a good portion of his power to maintain these zombies here so they don't wander away. Alright, well I guess we'll come find you when the job's done. I look forward to hearing of their death. I'll be sure to have your reward ready. Ah, so if any of you are historians. Uh, not sure if anyone knows who owns the tower, but would be helpful. I might know a girl. back to his studies as the rest of the zombies will move back into the inner circle of the watchtower. My quests upon quests. Go find some bug bears. Imagine if you just fireball. That's why Certainly. I am leaving before telling everyone what is going on. <laughs> Yep. I'm gonna get a good five minutes down the road. He just hears so like an echoing. Nice. He was a what? Before uh, Davon's perka face sort of just fades. Well, um, this isn't going to mean anything to any of you. As we've established. 
but that man is a Red Wizard of Thay. Um, extremely powerful, evil, terrible necromancers. Whatever he's doing here is not good. And chances are he could have just killed all of us right there if he decided. Could, could we try and do something when we come back? He gives us the ring, we watch him get rid of his undead, and then... To trust a red wizard is to trust the devil. I doubt that ring even exists. Seems honest about it. Yeah, he seemed like a very, uh, you know, stereotypical wizardy type. He really cares about his work and not much Did else. He... I think he really just wants to get his work done and go. And if does he have the classic red wizard of Thay like thing carved into his face? Uh, for the carvings on his face, let me see if there's a tighter description. Like the movie. <laughs> like the titular D&D movie. Uh, yes, he, in full description of his, you know, looks, uh, he is the magnificent red robe, a shaven scalp along with a tattoo on his forehead. Oh, yeah. Stuff. He is rocking the full Red Wizard of Thay. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, all in favor of uh, getting whatever he was going to give us and then getting his life afterwards? Is he really that much of a bad guy? It's... Look, I'm no saint, but the Red Wizards destroyed an entire city in a day. They're not good people. I've never had any uh, good times with people who carve things into their face or spend a lot of time around the undead. It's usually a good idea to never befriend yourself with a necromancer. What's the plan then? Are we killing the bugbears for him? Not killing the bugbears for him? What's the dealio? Kill the bugbears. We come back. He de-arms himself of his undead. Since he doesn't need, since he doesn't need to protect his camp anymore. And at that moment, we should probably try and jump him, is my suggestion. I get bad vibes. Skull tattoo. Like it. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I have tra a trauma for skinheads. But yeah. <laughs> you got skinheads in space. Oh yeah, they're the worst. Space Nazis. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> awful. <laughs> Always trying to build like a base on the moon, constantly. Oh, uh, because it's want... so wide. See. And once they're on there, you never get rid of them. They're just there uh -huh. forever. It's like an infestation. <laughs> Reminds me of my favorite play, uh, uh, Nazis in Space. <laughs> Never heard of it. It's a sequel to, it's a spiritual successor to Snakes on a Plane. Which plane? Material. Oh. Isn't that sort of the normal place for Snakes to be? Mm-hmm. Must have been a very <laughs> normal play. I'm just like, ah, a snake <laughs> in our play. <laughs> I dare say I am tired of these motherfucking snakes <laughs> on my play. I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
so we'll be able to get that. The rest of that half travel going towards the women tour. Is this the the where he said the buggers are coming from? Yes. Which is also the same one that the mayor has yeah, requested okay. you. Oh, so we like. were going to do this anyway. Yeah. But he I thought it was gonna be another bugbear for the cannon. So it's more than like a day to get back to him, right? Uh yes. Okay. That's fine. As long as we're getting back to him at full strength, I'm mm -hmm. happy. This is like we all just saw Darth Vader, but no, none of you know who Darth Vader is. <laughs> yes. And I'm just there like, what the fuck? That's fucking Darth Vader. And you're all like, yes, maybe we should fight Darth Vader. Seems like a good guy. <laughs> no, cool Wouldn't dude. Darth Vader be like the Lich? equivalent well yeah he's like, much more powerful this guy's probably an apprentice or something mm. you know this is like he's still a red guy. wizard Devonis ever personally met a red wizard but when you see someone who is clearly a red wizard you don't want to fuck with that yeah they they have we a pretty high barrier to entry i don't like him but i do I like think. You know, if we were doing an evil playthrough, we could use our, our one question with the Banshee to get get him his answer and probably get more prize. We should use our one question to find out what uh, feed you to the kitten is. <laughs> one, yeah, I'd like to use my one question for you to teach me how to speak goblin. What the fuck does feed you to the kitten mean? Excuse me. What the fuck does that mean? Is that like ye oldie slang? She goes, I don't know, man. Ask a different question. That, that's pretty wild, and I don't know what the fuck that is. Do they have a pet lion? What would a, what would a goblin consider a pet lion? Oh, God. Alright, so, able to bump down once more on these rolling hills, there doesn't seem to be, thankfully, anything that wants to harass you. It might be due to the zombies, it might be due to the bugbears, you're not sure. This place is eerily abandoned for the time. forward from there as you wake up and get to enjoy that fresh morning air the ice dew wafting over the mountains as well as get your breakfast rations in You'll be able to start making your way mm -hmm. towards the Vendor let's do it as you are searching at the various crags of this location, you do know the area, but the exact spot as it is just a cavernous location. I need someone to go ahead and make me either a perception or a wisdom, a wisdom survival check. The survival is a DC 10, the perception is 15. Oh, wait, one of us or? One of you. Okay. I vote me for survival. I agree. Dude, sure we the can really fuck this up. Oh, oh. oh no! Can I? I'll give you more if I went for a him. <laughs> can I have cast a guidance on him? I would say guidance. Yeah, go ahead and give it to me. Just don't roll one. So roll one. Okay. Roll the one. Surely, surely you can't do it. Up. Surely we can't roll a one. Right. Hey! Yeah. And then a perception? That was a perception or a survival. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So, that. Uh, especially any of these tra traveled ways in the mountain do start to catch faint smell of smoke that hangs in the air. Looking at a path that seems a little more 
traversed, though still rugged, especially on the craggy mountainside. So, as you get closer to the spot where you follow the scent of wafting smoke and ash, about 50 yards away, you can see what looks to be a cave mouth that opens up at the bottom of a ravine. And puckered down about 20 yards outside seems to be a singular bugbear who's keeping watch. Pull up their bugbear costumes. Oh, I genuinely reach in and pull out a bugbear costume. <laughs> the bugbear <laughs> convention. Sky's kid. But this seems to be a location, though it does not seem like the bugbear has noticed you yet, as you are still a good ways out. Alright, let's go and talk to him and get their side of the story. <laughs> let's not do that. Let's kill first and ask questions later. I propose we try stealth. Oh, fuck. Proposal accepted. Well. Right. So, I mean, it's it's not gonna go well, but we can try. I mean, we, we can, can at least try. try. Mm -hmm. We can try to be the ambushers instead of the ambushed. Ambush. I mean, if if Ooh. we are we currently like we're currently not seen right now, right? Oh, the yeah, we're gonna have to roll forever. Effectively, be yeah. like fifty feet out. He doesn't seem to be paying attention as he's down in the ravine. Oh my god, the attempts to cast sleep. And he wouldn't hear because you said he's that we're more than sixty feet away. Where are we? Ninety feet. Uh oh it's perfect. I mean, yeah, he doesn't take notice of you as you are. Rolling over the hillside. Um, do you guys want me to try and sleep in? You won't hear me from this distance. I mean, you sh hopefully should be able to one shot a little bit of sleep if he's the only one. I believe, have faith. Unless there are any objections? If I, as long as his buddies aren't nearby and don't see him fall asleep. Uh, yeah, I'll put it so that he's, like, right in the edge of it. Alright. So, it, like, it doesn't go in at all, so if anybody's in there, they won't notice. Ha ba da pa Oh, cute. Way better than my sleep. Nice rolls. Let's see. As this casts up, you do see him kind of rub his eyes for a brief moment, give a little bit of a yawn, but he's still up. Oh shit. Screw up my face. Darn. See, like. Looks around and slaps his face a little bit. Yeah. I wish sleep was cumulative. Right. Yeah, what if we both cast sleep at the same time? Uh, no. <laughs> the exact same time, you know. Josh, how much was I off by? Can you tell me? Uh, hmm. Roll me an insight. Right, let's spoilers. Roll me an insight. DC is 16. 
I'm not sure. Well, he definitely was sleepy. I, I, he was sleepy. You're off by I'm 95 hit points. I, I, I squint my eyes and I go, I must have had his monster this morning. Hmm. He's that amused was, that to sleep, guys. That was the have. biggest. That was the biggest sleep I could have possibly done. There's nothing. Been drinking no... his Davon special juice. Oh, there you go. Anyway, I'm gonna pull a card. Any card. Oh, it's a Weldo. You know what? We can use a Weldo to fucking insta kill this guy. Let's do it. Wait, what? Oh. Let's get closer, and then. Uh, how many? Up to my charisma modifier. So, five people could all get a 30-foot teleport if we sneak closer. And we could all just... Oh. So, oh, no, undo it. Fucking beat the shit out of him before he even notices. Let's do it. Most of us rolled good stealth, I believe. How close do we have to move before we can teleport? And should we all prepare melee attacks, or...? I mean, it costs your reaction to... to go... to teleport. But, Should've you know, I feel like we'll get a surprise time. round. If you can maintain that stealth, yeah. Enough. Right, yeah let's go, let's go, like, up here. Maybe. You tell us yeah, when we're close enough. I mean, it also, goes 30 feet. Also, since the tree since we're casters, we could also just snipe them from here, too. You could. Well, we gotta get, like, here. I'm not mad at the idea of sniping. Pair a fireball. Yeah, you, you punchy people can go up. We'll prepare a firebolt slash eldritch blast. All right, I'll wave Andrek and Zora forward. Uh, Andrek's gonna move up. I need him to roll stealth. Bless you again. Sorry. Keep not making it to the mute button in time. <laughs> Surprisingly, he doesn't seem to notice. Hmm. Amazing. This is the worst fucking scout you've ever seen. Alright. Soren and Indrek next to me. Yep. You'd be like. Slightly close, maybe like here. Whoop. Okay. I'd like to press the initiate surprise round button. Alrighty. Oh, right into that Gucci swing. Do you guys all teleport at once? I guess yep. not one at a time. That's so funny. It's all at the same time. That's why I call it the world, because the world is one of the guards in the tower deck, and I was like, this is the most fitting one. So, you can you describe how what it looks like when you do this? Uh, I... Oh my <laughs> fucking... It doesn't look oh, wow. like anything. Suddenly, uh, me and four other people appear 30 feet away from where they were. Should they choose to do so? in an instant. Oh, good. I rolled good. I don't even know where Kern is. He's I right see him. Oh, he's chilling. In chillin'. the bushes. Yeah. Being chilling. Chilling like a villain. You can take the wolf with you. Maybe. The wolf is chilling back here, not sure what. Yeah, I would have told him to hang back. 
both of us speak English. We've All right. Fought him. I used the tail of the runaway. And me and a number of creatures equal to my charisma modifier can also teleport 30 feet. Alright. Fuck him up. Oof. Okay. Well, I was gonna put myself here. You've got the thing where I can see where I'm going mm. before I let go of my token. Uh, so I have to do it. Going in. Surrounded by five bugbears. Handsome. <laughs> Worse. But uh, I I could see everyone else except Latree. So everyone else except Latree can use their reaction to teleport thirty feet. And I'll 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 get these boys rolling now. Uh, but they are all definitely surprised. Oh lord! They're like in the darkness. Mm -hmm. Teleport mm -hmm. thirty feet in anywhere we want to go. Right? Not we don't have to go towards you. No. You can go anywhere you want. I'll go there. Cause why not? Some real fucking shit hours going on right now. Oh, why would you do this to us? It's a lot of bugbears. So many people. Hey. Oh, there's orcs too. Hey, look on the bright side. Now we're the ambushers. <laughs> no. It's not an ambush if you trip into their lair and fall <laughs> on your face. It's a total it's an ambush if we live through. Pretty sure that's called slapstick comedy. All right. I mean, uh, who else was uh, in, instant ban thing to Bugbear? Uh, Andrak should have. I would hope so. If he chooses not to, he has performed the greatest betrayal of all time. <laughs> this is how we tell Damon, oh. hey, we don't want to be in the group anymore, so we're you should stop oh. worrying and we all walk away. Josh, what's that guy at the bottom of the turn order doing there? Ignore I don't like me. that guy. I don't. Damn. What the fuck? Who the that prank? It was yeah. mentioned in passing multiple it, times. Yeah, in that bugbear ambush. Uh, did Satan feed us to the ogre? Yeah. He did mention an ogre, yeah. Um, okay, well, are you seeing this counts as the start of my turn because teleporting in was. You put initiated this? Uh, teleporting, okay. this is still surprise. surprise. So, yes, it's advantage. Okay, well, I'm gonna not attack this guy, and instead, I'm going to cast... Let me just turn on UI redesign real quick, because I need an AoE. Got a circle. Not a circle. Oh. Not the circle. But, um... Ew, was it white? Come blasting. Oh, that. That's your color that you picked at the bottom. Yeah. It actually is. Um. Hmm. Change the color next to your name, it'll change it. These creatures here. The two bug uh, As here. I teleport in and see uh, many boys, I am going to just. Wow, you fuck all is what I'm gonna do. Uh, spray a bunch of cards at them. And they are very shiny. And if they fail, uh, they're blinded. Uh, yeah, brilliant. And half damage? Or... Uh, creature takes half damage. Yes. Alright. Alright. 
right, so two force, two force, and blind. Glad I am a very fast man. Gonna need it. And I'll go back here. <sighs> Can I fit through here? Yes. It's a two wide key. Uh, I'm going to slide down the fucking ledge. Alright, there's about a fucking ten more people in there and like an ogre. Oh. Here from Back the, up from the entrance. Here from the back of the cave. Oh, and I can actually burn a section. Uh, once again, draw a card. Ding. Party construction. See what I get. Nice. Ooh. Keep you going. That's a good, 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 good one. That's me. Alright. Uh. Oh, he's no longer surprised. Andre. You skipped Zorin. Or. Oh, did I? My bad. Zorin. Yeah. You would have got him while he is surprised. Yeah, sorry, because you, you switched it to Zarin, and I was like, no, I still have a bonus section. Yeah. Uh, get him with the spear, I suppose. Definitely. Stab him. I definitely stab him. Kick him in the shin. Definitely hits. <laughs> And I'll, I'll signal with a whistle, I suppose, for the, the wolf to run in. Alright, the good boy is on his way. Come on, boy! Get him! Now it's enter. Alright. I will swing my longsword at him. Yeah. Oh. Bam. <laughs> Also, hearing there's an ogre. Uh, What's in this cave mouth, by the way? In the immediate, what I can see. Uh, that's basically like cresting over a lip, as this is half ravine, and that's the cave mouth. Oh, we're standing like beneath. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that's it. Alright. Let's be. Uh, since he yelled that there are a bunch of fucking more of them in there, I'm not gonna hold back. I will magic missile. Or... Is poo poo damage. Uh, seven force. Seven force. Bugbear still ain't looking good after that. Uh, I will move forward. Get into full cover here. Alrighty. Oh, hello, Kern. As I crouch in a bush next to you. Oh, I haven't seen you here. Yeah. That's the nicest time of year. Hmm. It's quite lovely. No longer surprised. No longer surprised. No longer surprised. Kern! Well, would I have advantage on this man for being hidden? Since I am not. Currently yes, swinging it forward. You are not revealed to cool. I will cast. I would like to cast Hex on him and then Eldritch Blast. <laughs> I'd like to blast the man. 19 to hit? I definitely hits. Oh, come cool. On. I, ooh, juicy roll. That actually wow. slays him at the door. I sniper shoot him from the grassy knoll, and then I will move. Oh no! <laughs> the president is down. I repeat, president is down. Later, he looks down at himself. Am I the second shooter? 
<laughs> and was I the second? Oh no! All this time. Oh yeah, there's the boys. Death yeah. approaches. Death approaches. <laughs> Brothers, that's they're broken. surprised. They look surprised. Devon, if you're back. I am back. I just got back. I'm going to use uh, my action to cast my Bardic Inspiration on Andrak. Andrak, nice. you gain uh, 10 feet to your walking speed, 1 to your AC, and. Holy shit. Uh, 9 temp hit points. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Let's see it. And the benefits are tied to the 10 HP, right? Yes, when that runs out, or if I use another Bardic Inspiration, then you lose the effects. But I feel like that 10 HP will last about one ogre hit, so it's fine. Do I have any bonus action spells? I didn't think I do. I do, but no one is injured, so I'm just gonna... As soon as it's difficult terrain to go up the edge here... Uh, going back up that lip... Let me double check... Uh... Yes. Yeah, climbing out of the ravine would be difficult terrain. It slows you just a bit. I'm just going to get in next to you, Kern. I don't think I can give Bardic Inspiration. You can. You're still a regular Bard. Yeah. No, no, but like, I mean, when I... I can only re retain one of these tails at a time. Rolling on the Spirit's table immediately ends the other thing. So but I can not have normal to... Bardic. Yeah, you can. You just yeah, can't I'll give a thing. normal Bardic Inspiration to Zoran then. Alright, didn't mean to point the cone at you. Blast <laughs> Zorin with the fucking AoE phrase. Alright, now you're back over here. Alrighty, Zorin. Climb up. It's a little voice. <sighs> Get down! You see, like, cards sticking out of three of them. Yep. I'll move to here. Yeah, bonus action. Chronic Cry. Yeah, just the two closest. Uh, we can actually throw a dart at uh, the orc. Alrighty. Nice. God damn. <sighs> Fucking like just under his eye. Oh, that's even worse. He's got cards and darts sticking out. <laughs> Went to the wrong pool. Uh, I'm gonna move to the back here and have faith that other people will run in front of me. Already. And right. And faith is well founded. <clears throat> As I run straight in. Hold the emperor. What the fuck? Who is on watch? Uh, I've got a uh, advantage on this one, right? Uh, yep. Because I screamed at him. The 14 will hit. Hooray! Value. Uh, uh, he's looking rough. <laughs> that be all. Uh, yes. Alrighty. A three. As much Hello. concophonous noise is going on. I'm going to move to here. I still can't see anything. So I will. Fuck. Um. Doran! How far from the door are they? Around the corner. Okay, I will uh, starlight step north then. I'll go next to the wolf, I guess. Hopefully that 
Okay, that is good. Uh, that is my bonus action to Starlight Step. Uh, I see that Andrak is engaged with one of them. I will attempt to firebolt that one. I have advantage on that one though, right? So that's a 16. Yeah. That is... It's assaulting Orc again. For eight fire damage. Yeah, he's the, he's one of the ones with the advantage, so I'm not gonna This to poor guy. <laughs> As he fucking burns to death, darts, cards, and swords sticking at him. Oh, he burns to death? <laughs> Hell yeah. the floor. Uh, all decided to hit that guy. I'll take my last five feet of movement and get fully behind the wolf, and that'll be me. Well, you see, he looks different from everyone else, so you, you have to kill him first. You gotta target the guy who looks different. Yes, it does incite anger in me for some reason. They can burn. They can burn. Run. Uh, disengages oh. and starts oh, running for the door. The good wolf. We were, we were right to kill the orc, apparently. Somehow I don't you know? know that they will keep running if the wolf is eating all of them. But the wolf hungry. He nibble. Wolf did, oh, oh. He nibble. Buddy. He nibble. Buddy, they're running. He nibble. We are outgunned. And he falls we're, prone. We're he scre God. screams at fear, being being fucking chewed on by a dog. Good extraordinaire. Yes. Man, he's gonna run for his life. He's just running. Oh, who, what, who was boy. this orc? Good boy, try to get back. This orc was oh, mentally controlling down. them all. Barely. Maybe these bugbears were peaceful. We never, we never asked. They're prisoners. Oh no. Well, to be fair, the second bugbear we met ambushed us and tried to bash our heads in. This man is stumbling around in the dark, swinging. He's in the. Oh, he's blind. Turn. Uh, was, was that guy also hit by the draconic cry? No. But you don't yeah, have advantage because he he's blind anyway. He is he is blinded. I'm gonna move by, mm -hmm. use a bonus action to move my hex to that man. Hex. Is this the blind from me? Yes. It lasts until the end of the next turn. The next turn. So, your next turn it or probably their would turn? be their next turn. Right. So it would have, would have been over already. Alright, so it just yeah. ends as comes to current turn. Alright, well the only other guy I can see is not prone, so I'm still gonna Ass hex on the formerly blinded man and try to shoot him. Light him up. That still hits. 18 to hit. Cool. I do nine damage total to him. <laughs> I can see. Oh. I can fight. I can sing. That's bad. Oh. I don't particularly feel the need to move, so I guess I'm good there. Alrighty. These, this one. <laughs> They're running. But Gog, the... Uh oh. Gog, Gog is angry. got a name. Ooh. Gog is angry. Uh -oh. You kill boss! I crush you! Uh oh. Oh, that was their boss. Okay. Uh, which one yep. does he think killed? He's bringing the club towards Andre. Oh. <laughs> 16 will miss. It collides heavily with your armor, Andre. Damn. All right, I peek the corner. I can see the oak right? Yes. So I'm going to hit it with a dissonant whisper. Fuck well, it, it didn't ask me to upcast, so I guess that's level one. That's a net 20. Damn. <laughs> oh, like I believe it's... Oh, Wait, it is half you... damage still. How many minuses does a, does a grog have to wisdom? Imagine knowing. Probably a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine at least two or three. 
right. I try to, in his mind, he sees the boss orc, like, standing right behind me, disappointed in him. And then he realizes, no, boss dead. Boss like me. I'm better. I'm about different. I'm better than you. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'll, I'll just give Le Three a bardic inspiration. All right. There's a D six. Still a D six. I don't want to take cover behind here because I want to see what's going on. But yeah. I want to take cover because I'm scared. <laughs> Get full cover. Just watch Josh's They don't. That's true. They haven't shown the use of bows or anything. They seem to be more smashy smashy types. But I always they assume strong listen. enemies have javelins. Zorn. Yeah, but there's also people. Uh, run around. Seven minutes. I stab his ankles. What's <sighs> that? Who? I gold. definitely get. Chucky monkey. Uh, flurry of blows. Oh, that definitely hits. Good lord. 13. 13 hits as well. There you go. Breaking me, caps. I crush you. Uh, does your bardic inspiration do anything extra? Or no. Is it regular? No. Okay. It's a regular bardic inspiration. The extra thing is the thing I do with the cards. Huh? Alright. And, uh... Indra. You got advantage. Nice. I will use it to swing my longsword. That hits. Excellent. Six damage. Chunky monkey. Any bonuses? Uh, nope. Alrighty. The three. Hello. Good boy has a uh, has a bugbear on the pole. Yeah, uh, so I'm not gonna get into the. I'm not gonna go uh, past him and, or, and incur wrath. I'll scrabble up to here so I can get line of sight on Big Boy here, and I will uh, magic missile him and then quicken firebolt. So that is another piss poor seven force damage, followed up by. A 17 firebolt Definitely for is. three, 10 total damage. <laughs> and my forehead starts to glow because I spent a sorcery point and one of my runes becomes charged. Gog is just trying to hold his hand up to stop all this shit that's hitting him. For flavor, I pull out the horn of silent alarm and blow it, and only Grog can hear it. But I can't, because it's actually an action to do so. Man's gonna stand up, <laughs> disengage, and start to try to fucking hobble away 15 feet. Uh, they're still within sleep range. Good boy's gonna finish the fight. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's brutal. Don't you fucking run from me! Don't you think you can? Nine. Always hungry for blood. The bugbear turns around. Maybe I don't want to run anymore. Uh, uh, he prones this bugbear again. <laughs> oh man. Poor this guy. Bugbear. He books it. He's fucking gone. This one. Is he though? Oh yeah, he's gone. He booked it around the corner. He's gone. You could not see that. Fireball range. I could I could see all the way down here, but yeah. Yeah, I can see oh, there's still a cliff there. This is true. Alright. This man, he's gonna disengage. <laughs> Alrighty, Kern. Alright. Um if I actively see this man running away, then I will move my hex over to the ogre. And shoot him. That's a twenty-five to hit oh for 
11 damage. Uh, looking woozy. And that'll be me. That's my bonus action. No, just shimmy up there a little bit to see how big this boy is. Alrighty. One bear. It's gonna try and full send it, but will the good boy get the bite? He will not. This one uh, bear is just full sending it. Power! <laughs> he will get to there, and he'll still be inside with that one. Gog didn't like the double kneecap from Zorin, so... Understand. Uh oh. Squish tiny! Lifts his great club. That's a nine, he misses horribly, he's wobbling. Ugh. Crunch into the fucking stone, and do you see the club dent in? Demo. Once again, I'm gonna pick the corner. I still see the overcur. Hit it with the distant whispers. Sees a vision of the terrifying orc boss. Oh my god. Did it make it again? It's not another death 20, dude. God <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. <laughs> I swear to fucking Christ. That's so fucking. Look, funny. it's half damage. Everything I've done has been half damage, so I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm happy. I just feel bad because I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? I swear to God, roll 20 knows, man. This ogre is wise beyond his years. Um, I don't know if I can give Andrak a default inspiration on top of his current, like, buff. Yeah, you can. I can? I should yeah, do so. Yeah, they don't interact. I shall... Bonus action, give Andrak a default bardic inspiration. And I'm gonna stay here so I can actually see what's going on. Zorn, he tried to squish you. Oh, obviously I'm good. Pick his kneecaps. That'll hit. Ooh. How do you want to kill God? <laughs> yeah, Lex. Spear him through the kneecap. Enough damage to send him tumbling down. His head hits a rock or something. Gog is dead. Do you care to chase the others? Yes. Yeah, I'll chase this guy. Question is, where are they running to, for example? Yeah, sure. They seem to have run off. The orc died and they all panicked, except for God. It is. Let's get at least one of them. Break your spy. I drop kicked this bug bit. <laughs> <laughs> the flying drop kick from Zorin out of the fucking left side of you. Or get me all out of nowhere. Alrighty. Andre. Guess I'll go hit this guy. Or try to. Attemptedly crush his soul. Sword. Oh my god. You just got a bardic inspiration? Yeah. Do the thing. Sure. Yeah. What's that? A D6? D6. I'm not sure that's even gonna be worth it. Oh, Ooh! will hit. He did, hey. did drop his shit nice. when he was running. Close with right. Six damage. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> will that be all? Yep. Not three. Uh, I will draw my. Uh, rapier, walk over and attempt to uh, smack him in the face with the hilt uh, as to knock him unconscious. Punch him out. 20 for 5 bludgeoning to crunch his nose even flatter. He falls over, legs dangling over to the edge of the cave mouth and just... Alrighty. 
deep sigh. Will you remain there? Uh, yeah, I begin. I'll kneel down and begin pulling out some rope. All right. Bugbear. Well, the dog tried to bite the other. He's got to get up and start running. Full dash. The good boy keep pace. I'll have to dash, but he'll re right on his butt. Oh, Jesus. Wait, did he? Was he able to dash because he was prone? Yes, he got up and then just yeah. full sent it. But well, the he dog only did his fire. action. Yeah, he got didn't it. have to do this. Understand. He understands disengage rules. Um, well, they got that guy over there tied up. I'll see if I can catch any of these fleeing folk. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, I do see some people. Two people are still in sight. I'll put move my hex over to that farthest guy down there. <gasps> and shoot him. <gasps> Ew. I'm guessing 13 misses. 13 would miss. That was one of the ones that did arm right. up and get blinded. Alright. Well, that's fine. It's me. Alright. He dashes. He's gone. Oh, damn. What a shame. They won't. Well, I, I don't feel like I really need to waste a spell slot on this this last bugbear who is getting steadily murdered by a wolf. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he gets run down by the dog yeah. one way or another. Uh, yeah, that'll be me. All right. Unless I can see the one that just ran off screen. No, he's way gone to run through the bears. Right. That's... I'm good then. Alrighty. Uh, unless anyone else wants to take a shot at it. Right. <laughs> oh, kill the, oh, kill the whole fucking god! Oh my god. That is beauteous. Last ditch effort to try to shoot the man. Shoot him. Shoot him. Put him out of his misery before good boy can nibble him. Alright. Oh, the damage. The most delicious fucking... Nibblage going on as you both fucking tag team execute this man. And that is combat. I rope tie rope. <laughs> bugbear capture. Dead bugbear is outside. A little oh surprise out there, but. No, no. Oh, large, wolf. large wolf! Large wolf! Large wolf. Large wolf. Large wolf. Large wolf. I think his ambush has got that one pretty well. That's like the this that's like Roll Twenty's version of Bethesda glitches. Every once in a while your character <laughs> in in the game goes <laughs> and stretches yes. rather than do, do you remember yeah. the one Roll Twenty update where players could stretch their yes. tokens? Yes. Horrific. Yeah. We have we I've have I've a picture of a meme from Post the it. Nate. I'll I'll send it to you in a bit. But uh yeah, that went a lot better than I was expecting. They, they all ran. What? Oh, it must have been important. I'd be very curious what sort of hole he had over there. Maybe they know. were conscientious objectors. I'll slide down the valley and climb up into here. I, I, I look around. Did they actually attack anyone? No. <laughs> I think that one blind one tried to, but he couldn't see. I assume it smells like bugbear shit to... to... Uh, I'd seem to look around. There does seem to be various plunder mixed in from what they've collected, but also, uh... It seems to be scrawling all over the wall. Uh, looking at the cave walls, you do find... Strange drawings on the northwestern wall, drawn quite crudely. It depicts a lanky goblin with a crystal jutting from its skull. 
Ooh, oh. Like where? From where did it stole? Center mass, like a unicorn. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> what the hell? It's the warp stone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zoran finds this interesting and would like to paint this. All right. Just real quick, like a ten minute. Take, take a fo quick photocopy of it. Yeah, kind of. I want to, like, if it's some kind of important evidence that means something to someone, I want to be able to show it later. I must draw you. I'm not like one of your complaint girls. Is there anything else amongst <laughs> the plunder? Uh, yes. Amongst the various pieces, uh, you can tell that these marauders have managed to collect up from their time of raiding around this area. Uh, an unlocked chest that has 180 silver pieces, 15 electrum pieces, <laughs> and three vials of perfume worth five gold each. I will add that to the treasure sheet. Oh, I love perfume. I already have some. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not joking. Oh, good <laughs> wolf is just to give some harness. How good is this perfume? It, like, Versace? I mean, considering five it's G five G gold G fucking perfume, yeah, it's pretty much Versace. Like, that shit's no good. Alright. Yeah, I'll take him. I know the rest of you don't. I'll give one, like, I'll ask if Latree wants some. I've take offered one. perfume to other people before and they've always refused. I will absolutely take your perfume if you're offering it to me. You smell it and you're like, this yeah. is high fashion like, here. I go, oh. You take two because I already have one. Okay. And then he just, just kind of sneezes as he smells the perfume. I remember trying to offer Andrex soap and he was like, ew. <laughs> soap. What the fuck? I think that's a good spot to leave off on. You're right, it is time to find a dragon. It's time for D&D, &D, guys. Oh, guys, we're late for D&D. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Mike, we never get to <laughs> chat with you off the game. Oh, it, yeah, it's we, we really never it's get to, to vibe. Busy people. It, it happens, I understand. You guys have fun. It's all right, Hopefully. we'll finish Josh's game so uh, other game soon enough. And then we'll be able to. Just, guys, just get, t yeah. just get yourself TPK'd. And, and then fine. there'll be time oh, we are to up to until a mind. different game takes over the We're, we're either going to get TPK'd or win the game. This is the. We just, yeah, we just fought like four demigods and now we're <laughs> fighting the demigod <laughs> boss. All yep, in a I, row. Yep. It was I, wish not to be like this. I have broken I wish the, the light speed bad. barrier. Oh, you're right. the flash. Uh, almost basically. Yeah. Good luck, Kangod. Yeah. 